previously, I made a video on if you could solo the Reclaimer, how much you could make within an hour, and how much you could make with a crew, and the splits between how much each crew member would make. And after making that, to be honest, I really didn't see too much use of flying the Vulture at all. I loved the look of it, but couldn't bring myself to actually purchase it, even in game, since I already actually own a Reclaimer. But that's a privileged position. Not everyone can already have a Reclaimer, and with the wipe coming up, everyone's gonna be poor, and most people salvaging are gonna be flying Vultures. So I thought I'd go back, take a look at the Vulture, and see how much you can make with it, solo, crude, and try to min-max the possible profits. My name's Dead Leader, and this is Salvaging with the Vulture. So, I took the Vulture out and spent some time with it amongst the asteroid fields. The basic stats of the Vulture is it has 12 SU of cargo, which, if all holding RMC, could profit you 92,400 Alpha UEC if they were all full. Or, if you're really jamming it in there with 16 SCU, you could make 123,200 Alpha UEC per run. The problem is, though, you have to fly it back each time you do that and go to a TDD planet side to sell it. And that little run back and forth was one, arduous, like much more arduous than just running back and forth through the reclaimer a little bit more. And it was also extremely dangerous. Where you go salvaging in the Lagrange points are pretty risky spots. Each time I was in the Vulture, I felt extremely vulnerable and really didn't have much of an option except just to jet out of there if I was scraping alone. And with only 12 SCU of cargo, it really didn't feel like I could make much ground out there by myself. And the risk felt a little bit dodgy. Also, after you find a good patch of chicken nugget salvage to scrape up. The problem is if you keep having to go planet side to the TDD to sell it, you, chances are you're probably not going to find it again. And it can take a little while to find them sometimes. So when you find a good patch, like one I did here, you really kind of don't want to leave the area and you want to spend as much time there as possible. This led me to one conclusion, and it's one that most people had, is you need an escort with a vulture. But since it makes a lot less money than the Reclaimer does, being able to justify a crew was very difficult. So picking the right escort really became the focus of my experiments. I figured that obviously it needs cargo space, but with the ballistic changes that are in and how quickly you can kind of blow up, it's not just about having a cargo ship or something that can fill up. If I was going to save as much money as possible, I needed an escort that could do multiple things. I needed an escort that had the ability to fight back. I needed one that had shields, um, like a full arsenal. And ideally, I needed it to have a tractor beam as well, which isn't something that is in the game currently. But I'm hoping that this year, in 2023, we probably will see ship controlled tractor beams. So having something that fit that criteria was a bonus. It also needed to be economically viable to actually buy in game. So I took the criteria, crunched the numbers, and one ship came up. One ship alone filled all the criteria you need. And it was the Constellation Taurus. At 3,256,400 Alpha UEC to buy in game, it's a little bit on the dearer side, but not impossible. But here's the thing, and as 174 SCU of cargo space, has four size four gimbaled weapons, and has four size four missile ports. Not to forget that it's also gonna have a ship-based tractor beam, and it's also pretty nimble. So if anyone came after you, and you had ballistics strapped to that thing, you would be just as much of a threat to them as they would be to you. If you were unable to get the Constellation Taurus, but you have a few other ships, here's the two runner-up escorts that I figured were not as good as the Taurus, but they were up there. Uh, there was the Freelancer Max at 2,181,500 Alpha UEC. It had 120 SU of cargo space, two size three gimbaled weapons, and two size three and two size four missile pods. Then there was the Caterpillar, which costs a lot more in game, but this might be one that you already have in your hangar and own. Otherwise, it's in game, it's 4,686,600 Alpha UEC, but it has a whopping 576 SU of cargo space. 
two size two gimbaled weapons and two size three gimbaled weapons, but it has no missile ports on this one, but it does have a huge cargo size. So I imagine the Caterpillar might be ideal if say later on you were gonna have multiple, multiple vultures and you wanted to times this fleet up multiple times over since its ability to defend itself with pilot controlled weapons just isn't as good as the Taurus. All right, now down to the numbers. First, I looked at which of the salvaging heads made the most amount of RMC per minute. There's the Cinch and the Abrade. The Cinch is supposed to be a much more direct uh, beam that doesn't waste as much hull as you're scraping it, but it was a lot slower. Per one SEU of RMC, it took a minute and 30 seconds to fill. And if I was gonna go back and unpack that solo out of the Vulture, after filling two SEU of cargo, to go back and take it out and put it all on the cargo grid of the Vulture, it took four minutes, 12 seconds per two SEU of cargo. But with the Abrade, uh, it was a lot faster with 45 seconds per one SEU on the Abrade and one minute 50 seconds per two SEU if I was gonna go and pack it on the Vulture solo. Now, keep in mind that this was with the salvage pieces, which are green tier uh, or green full, you know? So this is, this is the chicken nuggets that I, I mentioned in the previous salvaging video, which you should go check out if you haven't seen already. So for all my calculations coming forward, I used the Abrade as the basic scraping head. And I think everyone else should too. In fact, on the Reclaimer, uh, there's the Abrade is the smaller of the mining heads and the Trawler is the larger one. And the Trawler is trash. So I, I recommend the Abrade on either the Vulture or the Reclaimer. Now, before we get into the crew splits, Here's how much you can make with a Vulture or a Reclaimer solo after one hour of gameplay. And keep in mind, this is also using the uh, salvage chicken nugget pieces to scrape from as a base. Uh, one hour of solo Vulture, which would take two trips of uh, 14 SCU of RMC cargo to sell. So that takes in the time it would take to go planet side while you're in Arc Corp, um, going from uh, L1 to Area 18, taking the tram and then going to the TDD. Uh, after one hour, it would net you about 215,600 Alpha UBC, where one hour of the Solo Reclaimer would net you about 40 SU of cargo at 308,000 Alpha UBC. And look, 215,000 Alpha UBC ain't bad in an hour if you're fine with doing that. But it's not min-maxing, that's what I'm here to do. So if you were to get a Constellation Taurus and have them scraping hulls with you with the Vulture, for two people, it would take to fill the 174 SEU cargo grid that the Taurus has. With the Vulture packing, it would take two hours and 39 minutes to fill. With the escort packing, that is say, either they get out of the ship, which is a little bit dangerous, or if they've got the tractor beams uh, working, it would take two hours and 10 minutes to fill the 174 SCU cargo grid. And that would be with a split of 669,900 Alpha UEC each. Now, over two hours is kind of a long time to fill that up, but, if you added another Vulture into the mix to help pack that 174 SCUs on the Taurus, it would take, with the Vultures packing it themselves onto the cargo grid, you know, once it's, every time it's filled up with two, it would take one hour and 20 minutes for those two Vultures to fill up the 174 SCU of cargo space. Or if the Taurus's tractor beam was working, it would take one hour and five minutes to fill up 174 SCU with two vultures. And the split between those three pilots would be 446,600 Alpha UEC each, which is still double what you would make with the Vulture Solo in a similar amount of time. And for comparison, if you were gonna solo the Vulture yourself and you wanted to scrape and sell 174 SCU of RMC by yourself, it would take six hours and 30 minutes to do it solo. And it would be a hell of a lot riskier and you'd have a lot more costs with paying for, you know, uh, 
repairing your ship, quantum, hydrogen fuel, um, ammo, that sort of thing. So there'll be a whole lot more cost going towards it other than your time. And that's really all the base hot stats you'd need to figure out what you're going to spend your time doing uh, when 3.18 hits live. I think still, like, I'm going to be loving the Reclaimer. Uh, crewing that, like, with a bunch of people is a ridiculous amount of money. Um, but with the Vulture, like, I, I've seen a few people try and fly it with escorts, and I just look at them and I just don't think, um, still with, like, the, this, the grid that they have, that it's gonna make them all that much money and I've, I've, I've seen them get pirated. <laughs> it's it's not a safe thing. This is honestly, it's probably the, the safest ship with the highest amount uh, for the lowest amount of people to run it. Yeah, so really they are the, the Lords, Lords of Solo Salvage. Salvage. Well, I mean, I guess they're not solo if it's two ships. Well, they're, they're the, the lords, lords of duo salvage. Well, I mean, the reclaimer would be better with two people. They're the lords of duo on a budget salvage. Oh, it's also the final days of being able to get a free MPUV cargo ship if you use my referral code if you're signing up for the game. So if you are new to Star Citizen and you're thinking about buying a package, I would appreciate it infinitely if you use my referral code. Then we'd both get one of these ships and you'd get a little bit of extra money to start you off. So can't say boo to that. <laughs> All right, my name's Dead Leader and I'll see you out in the verse. Space, it's cold and it's lonely. But you don't need to be with Dead Leader Merchandise. Merchandising. With Dead Leader Merch, you can represent Star Citizen without looking like a dog. Merchandising. Everyone will think it's for some sick band, and if they ask what Dead Leader is, you can just say, you probably wouldn't know them, and they'll think you're sick. Merchandising. So grab your Dead Leader merch today and support your favorite content creator. Me, Dead Leader. Merchandising.